Hello, it's Teacher Carrie here, and I'm back with another Minicam tutorial. In today's video, I want to take you through some advanced troubleshooting techniques that you might use if you're having any problems with your Minicam. But no, of course, this video has not been sponsored by anyone, so hashtag not sponsored and let's jump into it. I want to take you over to my Minicam tutorial screen for today. You can see me here in my Minicam window. But I do just want to address why I look a little bit different between these two versions of myself. In the version of me that is sitting on my computer desktop, I am using OBS or Open Broadcast System in order to film this video. And you'll notice why in a few minutes. And then of course you have the Minicam version of me. I am actually using two separate webcams to film this video. And that's why you get a little bit difference in the color quality. Over here in Minicam, I look slightly pinkish as I'm using the cheaper webcam for this and my more advanced webcam I'm using for the OBS or the overall video filming. So now with that little detail out of the way, let me exit out of mini me and we can get started with our tutorial. So if you're having any trouble with your minicam, and I'm not going to list out all the things that might happen, but you'll know what I mean if you're experiencing some problems, um, you might want to just check your some basic settings in minicam and then I'll take you through some more advanced techniques that you might need to use if you're having major issues with it. So the first thing that you want to do is come over here to your frames per second or FPS rating up at the top here. If you're noticing any lag in your minicam, you might have chosen a setting that's a little too high for your computer to keep up. So you can see here that mine is set at 60 FPS or frames per second. And that's because my computer can keep up with the processing needed in order to refresh those frames that quickly. But if you're using more of a basic laptop and not a gaming computer, you might want to just uh, hover over this little setting here and turn it down. Let's try this 30 frames per second. It just takes one little second to reset it there. And you can see that it looks fairly good still in my minicam window. Everything is clear and the student would be able to see me nice and easily. And if this is still not working well in your classroom, you might need to go down a little further. Let's try this 20 frames per second setting. And then here you start to notice <laughs> that I'm turning rather pink. And that is because it's not putting as much into refreshing the frame rate as it was before. It's basically just lightening the load on the computer. And I might have to come over here to my color adjustment settings and uh, fiddle with them to make me look a little less pink. So I could drag this one. I'm turning a little more black and white. Maybe I should take out some of this red. <laughs> I just need to adjust these settings here. Now I'm going to go ahead and set mine back at zero because once I click back onto my 60 frames per second, here we go, uh, I should look okay again. <laughs> <laughs> so there we go. That's the first thing that I would try is just turning down your frames per second. This is particularly helpful if you're having any lag issues um, or if you're noticing that when you speak, the audio isn't move matching up to your mouth movements. So that's one thing that you might try if you're having some trouble. Now the next thing that you might try is exiting out of Minicam completely. Now to do that, I'm going to put Mini Me back on the screen. And I'm going to just click this little X in the corner. But actually, Minicam is still running in the background of my computer. So to exit out completely, and this is something you might do if your Minicam is crashing a lot, you want to, on a Windows computer, now all the tutorials that I give are going to be Windows-based. I'm sorry, I'm just not a Mac user. I do have an iPad, but I know I do not use it to its full capabilities. And I have an Android phone, and all of my computer stuff is set for Windows. So if you're looking for Mac things specifically, I'm sorry, I'm not very much help there. But on my Windows computer here, I have a little app drawer down on my toolbar at the bottom of the screen. And it looks just like a little up arrow. So I'm going to click on that. And this is showing me the active apps that I have going on my computer. So this one right here with a little red dot is my Minicam virtual webcam. So if I right click onto that and select exit, now that program is not going to be running in the background of my computer anymore. So to open it back up again, of course, I can just click on my mini cam icon. <clears throat> that will take just a few seconds for it to think about. And then it is loaded back up. <laughs> so here I am again in mini cam. 
and that usually will address your issue. Sometimes though, you might get some advice online, particularly in Facebook groups and things like that about uninstalling and reinstalling your Minicamp. Now, you really shouldn't have to do this, um, but you might choose to do it if you haven't had an update in quite some time. I don't think Minicamp pushes out updates. You do need to check the website occasionally to make sure that you are using the most updated version. So if you get yourself in a situation where you really feel like you need to uninstall and reinstall Minicam, I'm going to show you how to do that. So one thing that you might not have noticed is over here on the upper left hand side, right next to where it says Minicam, there is a little pancake stack. And in this pancake stack, you can save project. So if you're planning on uninstalling and reinstalling your Minicam, you definitely want to save your project, uh, meaning that it will keep all of your presets and all the effects that you've loaded into your presets where they are so that when you open it back up, things will be okay. So I'm going to add Minimi back on the screen and I'm going to go to save project. You can see here that I have selected to export preset layout, meaning that they're going to stay in the number preset box that they are currently in. Export audio settings, microphone and playlist, of course, so that I can continue speaking with you <laughs> if I were to come back in my mini cam after uninstalling it and export activated effects. So this is going to be my backgrounds and any kind of little graphics that I put up on the screen. And then I am going to go ahead and click this button that says copy effect files. And it says for usage on another machine. So if I was, for instance, changing between my laptop computer and my desktop computer, but I still just wanted to use my one Minicam subscription. Um, I have the studio version, which allows me to have two devices active. Uh, but if you only had one and you were going to change completely and permanently, definitely make sure that you do this same uh, copy effect files because you want to not have to re-download all the effects that you've already saved in your mini cam. So I'm going to go ahead and click save and it's just saving it here with this time stamp basically and that's fine because I'll show you how to get that back later. So now that we have saved that, what I can do is go ahead again, I'm going to um, well, let's just, I'll show you that little save feature. Now, normally Minicam just saves automatically anything that I pop up onto my screen. If I were to exit out, it's going to still be there when I come back, but we can test this out just so that you can see that it works. I'll go ahead and clear out all these presets that I have saved for when I'm teaching. Some of these are custom desktop areas and others are just a welcome preset and things like that. So now they are gone. Ah, and I don't want to have to spend time reloading all those presets. So if I come back to my little pancake stack here, I can open project. And then for me, it's the bottom one or the newest one. Let me put mini me back on the screen here. So you can see this one is at 6.33 a.m. today, and I will click open. And then I'm going to press this blue button that says import new presets. Um, I don't want to save current preset because that's just the one video preset that I'm currently in. I want those ones that I had before. So I'll import new presets and magically all of my things came back for me. <laughs> so that is a way to test to make sure that it's working so that I don't do a lot of work in here and then uh, not be able to get those things back. So I am going to show you now how to uninstall and reinstall your mini cam. Don't worry, everything will be okay. So I'm gonna put Mini-Me back on the screen here and I'm going to exit here. And I do need to exit out completely of my Minicam. So I'm going back to my little app drawer on the bottom, right clicking over Minicam, selecting exit. It has to be completely closed down in order for this to work. Then if I come over to my start menu button here, scroll down until I find MN, oop, too far. Minicam right here. You can see there's an option for reset settings. And if I right click over where it says Minicam, I have the option to uninstall. So this is going to bring me up my uninstall or change program setting from my Windows computer. And I'll need to look down until I find Minicam right click on that and select uninstall. Now when I do this, it's going to kind of black out my screen because it's going to ask me for permission to uninstall. So here we go. I'm going to say yes on that. And now it's going to bring me up a little uninstall wizard. So if I select this next button here, I have some options within this menu. And these options are important if you want to get your settings and things back in Minicam. So it says, please specify what application settings should be removed. 
and you can see the options are remove minicam settings, remove custom user effects, and remove licenses. So if I were to select boxes for these, these little click boxes, that would take away everything about my minicam. And I don't want to do that. <laughs> I want to get all of my things back. I don't want to spend many, many hours reloading all of the effects that I had. So I'm going to select um, nothing on this screen. Don't select anything. <laughs> Keep it. Unless you're completely wiping your computer, you're going to sell it. You never want that computer again. Okay. Um, and then you could select this next button and that will completely uninstall Minicam from your computer. Now, of course, I don't need to do that. I'm not actually having any trouble with my Minicam. I just wanted to make a troubleshooting video for you today. So for me, I'm going to select cancel. And then, of course, you would just go to the Minicam website and download Minicam again. And when you get it downloaded, of course, it will just open back up. So it takes a few seconds just to think about things. And then you can come back into your Minicam and all of your things should be there. But if they're not, of course, come back up to your little pancake stack next to Minicam and select Open Project. And you should be able to get all of your things back, all of your effects folders should still be where they were before you went uninstalling things. Now, like I said, this is not something that you should have to do very frequently or if ever, um, but you might need to if you're having a lot of problems or you don't have the most current update. And then one more thing I want to point out in our troubleshooting video is that down here on the lower right hand side, you do have some information. So this says that my frames per second is running between 59 and 60. And that's great because that's what the setting I have selected up here is. So it's keeping up with what I'm asking it to do. And then the next one says 2% CPU. CPU is your computer processing or really the brain power of your computer. And Minicam is only taking up 2% of mine. So I'm fine with that. That's a very reasonable number. Now, if it was something like 80, 85, 90 or higher, I would not be happy with that. That would not be any good, <laughs> okay? Because then once you start to open other programs on your computer, so for me, that would be my VIP Kid app where I have a live feed between myself and my student, and of course the classroom with our slides, then things are gonna start to get bogged down on my computer and it's gonna be laggy and unhappy. And then you can see it also has RAM set at 262 megabytes. Now most computers these days are gonna have anywhere between like eight, 16, maybe 32 gigabytes. So this megabytes is much smaller. It's not using too much of my computer's brain power. But again, if it were, the first thing I would do is go down to a, a lower frames per second rating here. I would add fewer presets in my preset boxes here. So for me, if I load up all 12 of the preset boxes I'm allowed, I might notice a change in these numbers over here. <laughs> and then of course you can try that trick of exiting out completely from Minicam before I would go uninstalling anything. I think you should save the uninstalling and reinstalling for the last uh, step if you're really having trouble with it. But of course you can save your project to get all of your things back if you do want to try that. Now let me just talk with you for just one second about why I choose to use OBS to uh, film some of these videos. Minicam doesn't particularly like to film itself. And of course, if I'm gonna close out of Minicam completely, I still want you to be able to see me on the screen. Now OBS or Open Broadcast System is a free software and it's a little bit lighter on computer processing than Minicam is. However, I really think that it's much more difficult to use. I love using Minicam in class with my students, um, although I do find some handy applications for OBS in terms of filming videos. Uh, it's just more set up basically <laughs> than Minicam is, and the user interface isn't as intuitive. Uh, with Minicam, you can really go around and press all the buttons and get everything uh, back if you press the wrong thing you can reset it rather easily but with obs i found it's kind of difficult to uh, go button pressing the things are not labeled as intuitively but i do want to say that if you're having a lot of trouble with your mini cam if you're noticing that your usage numbers over here doo -doo -doo, are much higher, it's making things really slow on your computer and you're concerned about its performance, particularly if you're doing online teaching, because uh, you don't want it to interrupt the video feed between yourself and your student. That would be bad. And you just feel like Minicam isn't going to work on your current computer. 
um, you could try OBS. Like I said, it's free. You can find it at obsproject.com. Of course, I'll leave a link down in the description. Um, and you can see that my settings for OBS and Minicam are a little bit different. In OBS, I'm able to film in a much larger screen area. Uh, that's just because I'm not trying to put it in my VIP kit classroom. <laughs> so the resolution and frames rate and things like that are just slightly different. And like I said, I am actually using two separate webcams, one for Minicam and one for OBS. Um, but again, if you're just really struggling with your Minicam, you've tried all the tricks and nothing seems to be working, you might consider using something like OBS or Cam Twist, depending on your situation. Um, there's always a workaround. It just depends on how far you want to take things. Of course, feel free to reach out to me with any questions. I'm not super great with computer hardware stuff, I have to say. I'm really good with the software kind of things, and I can usually point you in the direction of someone who could help if I don't know something. Um, but I'm fairly decent with the software and Windows in particular. <laughs> so reach out if you're having any trouble. I will help you troubleshoot if I can. But I don't want this video to get too long, so I'll say have a great day teaching, and I'll see y'all later. <laughs> Bye.